If you've ever wondered what kind of weather Jon Snow faces while fighting White Walkers in the hit fantasy TV series Game of Thrones, the conditions are almost the same as in Fairbanks, Alaska, according to a new simulation climate fictional kingdom. In addition, the dragons that burn Westeros could further destabilize the wall through global warming. Thanks to the fantastic imagination of three real investigators in the United Kingdom, a new article aims to come from two beloved characters, the learned apprentice Samuel Tarley and the former wildling Gilly, who create a new climate simulation of their planet after excavating ancient manuscripts. Climatic simulations are based on basic physical principles, so scientists can use these techniques to model worlds other than Earth, including the hypothetical climate and the seasons of that world. Because climate models are based on fundamental scientific processes, not only can they simulate modern Earth's climate, but they can also be easily adapted to simulate any planet, real or imagined, provided the underlying continental positions and heights, and the depths of the ocean are known. George R. R. Martin, who wrote the series of books on which Game of Thrones is based, provided many details about the Westeros and Essex continents in his books, which helped Lunt and his fellow researchers to lay the groundwork for a study precise. A useful detail was that the large commercial city of Korth was known as the center of the world, helping the team locate an equator for the planet that would pass over the city. While much of the Game of Thrones climate seems similar to the climates found on Earth, one of the most important fantasy elements in the story is that the seasons last for years, not just a few months. Then the Lunt group adjusted the model to account for a periodic influx in the inclination of the planet's axis that would allow the seasons to last longer. Unlike the world of Game of Thrones, the seasons on Earth last only a few months because the inclination of the planet's axis remains, for the most part, constant.